What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and I'm coming at you with something a little on the exotic side today. I had a subscriber of mine a while back ask me if I would do some alligator. Didn't ask me how to do it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a blackened alligator. And part of the reason I'm going with the blackened alligator as opposed to a fried alligator is I have this new seasoning from Sweet Smoky Joe Seasoning. It's Cajun Black. I've tried this on shrimp. This is all that. So we're going to hook this alligator up with it. Now I've eaten alligator before, but I have never cooked it. So this is going to be my first time. I did get a little inspiration online uh, as to how I'm going to do this. Anyway, here's the brand that I got. I got this just at a local butcher, sh butcher shop. This is one pound and it costs about $16. So a little on the expensive side. Let's open up this pack and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this might already be, I was expecting it to be one big chunk, but it looks like it's already kind of cut down into pieces. So I'm not gonna have to do that. I could put my knife away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Rinse this off, kind of pat it dry, and then we'll be back. Okay, we got that alligator rinsed off, drained off, and patted dry a little bit. And that's not a lot of alligator for $16, let me tell you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get our blackened seasoning in here. And I want to make sure it's thoroughly coated. Now, one thing I did notice when I cooked with this the last time is it's really not too salty so you can't afford to go kind of heavy on this I'm gonna leave a link to where you can buy this stuff in the description below they have a lot of good stuff that uh, I've used in a few different recipes and then I have my skillet over here getting heated up I'm using avocado oil but any high temperature oil would work I would shy away from something like uh, olive oil or something like that you could go with canola oil vegetable oil or a clarified butter. All right, I think that's good to go. My pan is starting to smoke, which is what we want. And I just have a real thin layer down here. Okay, let's throw in a test piece, make sure we're hot enough. And we're going to cook this for about two to three minutes or until it starts releasing from the skillet. Okay, let's go ahead and test them. Alright, so they're releasing from the skillet. That took about three minutes for the flip. And I'm going to go about two minutes on this side or until it lifts up. So that's another two and a half minutes. I'm going to set them aside, just let them sit on a paper towel to drain off. I'm going to let the skillet come up to temperature a little bit more. I'll start my second batch, then we'll plate up and see what we think about these. So that is a wrap. This is going to be the first time I've ever had alligator non-fried. As a matter of fact, I've only had it fried. So me and Hetty Pendergrass are going to go ahead and get into this. I made a little sauce to go along with it. Just grab a little piece. You don't need to get in there. It's too busy. No good. Mmm. That is surprisingly tender. Mmm. You know what? It's some good stuff. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. If you live in Colorado or someplace like me where this isn't something that you could just go to the grocery store and buy, this is good. 
Mm-hmm. But it's not $16 good per pound. So I will leave you with that. Anyway, it is tasty though. I will mm-hmm. I'll be more than happy to knock out a few more of these. Anyway, me and Hetty Pendergrass. Is that what I called you earlier? Mm-hmm. Or did I call you like Head Roosevelt? Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out. <laughs>